Hello everybody and welcome back to OS Iron Ginger. Today's episode is going to be filled with lots and lots of questing and a bunch of skilling. I also want to unlock Fossil Island because it offers a lot of early game and mid game activities. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Did someone say party? Alright, enough of that. There's Monk's Friend complete. This should be the last performance. And it is, cool. We got the Mime Boots and the Mime Top. Nice. And there's Hazil's Cult, another easy one. While I'm in Ardoin, I'm doing all the easy achievement diary tasks, and look at all the music tracks that you get from pulling the Wilderness Lever. That's pretty crazy. And there's Plague City. Along with that, we get to level 20 mining. Woohoo! And there's Biohazard. That gives us the last requirement that we need so that we can complete all of the easy Ardoin achievement diary tasks. All right, there's the Arty Cloak 1. That'll give us a teleport that's fairly close to a fairy ring. Once we complete the first portion of Fairy Tale Part 2, we'll be able to use fairy rings and get across the map a lot quicker. Decided to do something semi AFK for a little bit, and there's 22 Herblore. Herblore is something that's really passive on Iron Man, especially, so just slowly work on it. And as you guys can see, started to build some potions already and clean some herbs. Back to the quest grind, and there is Fight Arena. Next up is Clock Tower. I'm surprised I cut my sanity after this one. There's Sheep Herder. Hopefully I never have to do this quest ever again in my entire life. I missed the pop-up, but there's Dwarf Cannon. Waterfall quest. Observatory quest. Nature spirit quest. And Goblin Diplomacy. Here's a quick change of pace. We needed a couple crafting levels for Fairy Tale Part 1. So we decided to cut some gems that we got from Winter Todd and Temporos. As you can see, we still have a bunch left over. Gonna see how many levels I can get from crafting these up. As you guys can see, we got everything cut up except for the diamonds, and we got to level 38 crafting. Our last requirement for Fairy Tale Part 1, Lost City. I'm doing the final boss fight in Fairy Tale Part 1, and I'm such a low level that we have to do the flinching method to kill this guy. So you can see, health bar went away, you can hit him, you gotta step back right away. Wait for it to go away, and now you can hit him again, step back without hitting the little guys. Needless to say, I'll be here for a little while. I should only need one more hit on him here, of course I miss, and he hits a 7, thank you. It's probably been here 9 minutes, so come on, please be it. Yes, oh, nope, okay, still need one more. Well, at least one more, who knows. Ah, oh, alright, whew, that, that's it, we finally... Finally got the boss done. Like I said, that was way too long. And there it finally is, Fairy Tale Part 1 complete. So there's actually a lot of requirements to complete Fairy Tale Part 2. All you need to do is this beginning part to unlock fairy rings. So that's all we're gonna do. But as you guys can see here, we got them. That's that's all we need for now. We'll be back to complete this quest one day, but that's not today. With the unlock of fairy rings, we unlock the enchanted forest so we can kill tree spirits. This is the easiest and most efficient way to get a rune axe, so we're only going to stay here for the rune axe for now, but I'll probably AFK these guys while I'm making videos, things like that. Bro, literally first KC doing these guys, as you can see, just the first drop right here. Rune axe, let's go. If I'm going to be training some magic up, I figured I'd get at least a little bit of magic equipment. I'm going to be killing some monks at Zamrock for the top and bottom of the robes. Hopefully we're not in here for too long. Oh my god, finally. Runelight says I have 93 KC here. These are 1 in 20, so almost 5 times dry for them, but we got some magic XP, I guess. But most importantly, we, we got them. My goal is to get 1 or 2 agility levels in every video moving forward, just to help spread out the grind of agility. And with this lap, we get level 60. We also got 30 marks of grace, so getting the passive marks here too. We love it. Here we are in our doin. Talking to the citizen to turn in our first fully grown kitten or cat. Once we turn this in, we're going to get 200 death runes. So we'll keep passively doing these. Death runes are pretty hard to get in our pretty expensive early game, so we'll do this as much as we can. Another classic quest Demon Slayer. With Dig Sight, we are one step closer to Fossil Island. 
We're doing all the Bear Rock Museum activities that give us kudos, and we got the ruby necklace that you can find here. This will eventually be able to be turned into a dig site pendant with the ruby necklace and some enchantments. We'll need more magic levels to actually use it. See, 49 magic here. But we do have that unlocked now. With all the questing that we've been doing, we're able to talk to Historian Minus here. And we'll be able to get kudos for all those quests. We need 103 for Fossil Island and 98. This should take us to 103. I think we did one more, right? Yeah, okay. So we have 108. So we got the requirements that we need to get to Fossil Island. I was AFKing Tree Spirits a little too hard. And, well, you guys can see where we're at. We got our first death. At least we're not a hardcore. But we did die. Now we need to go collect all our items back. Alright, we made it back to our grave. We just need two more levels to unlock 49 magic so that we can use the enchantment on ruby necklaces to get dig site pendants. So let's claim this and then get these last two levels. And there's 49 magic. So now we can enchant our ruby necklaces to make dig site pendants. I'm going to throw up on the screen here what our loot is from the tree spirits. 338 total kills. Almost 2,000 nature runes for elking and a bunch of herbs and seeds. Made a quick trip out to the mage training arena out in the wilderness and got ourselves some cosmic runes so that we can enchant some ruby necklaces. And while we were out here, got some law runes as well. And there is Bon Voyage. We finally have access to Fossil Island. All right, guys. Totally forgot that you need seeds in order to do birdhouses. So if we're going to get seeds, we might as well get the rogues outfit because that gives us double seeds from pickpocketing master farmers. But in order to get the rogues outfit, we need 50 thieving. And as you can see, our thieving level is 31. So we need to get our thieving level up. What we're going to do is just steal from fruit stalls all the way to level 50. And then we'll do the rogues mini game so that we can get seeds in order to do birdhouses. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I don't think this is going to take very long. I think it's about three hours from where I'm at to get to level 50. So see you guys in a few hours. Quick little update. We're at level 41. So about an hour and a half left. I think we're about an hour in. So going a little quicker than I thought it would. And there's level 50. Now we can go do the Rogue's Den mini game and hopefully not go dry for the Rogue outfit. So we have to do the minigame with nothing on us, so we have to deposit everything, but we now have permission to go and do the rogues minigame. First attempt, and we get nothing. Nothing again. Attempt three, hey, we got the crate, sweet. This will give us the first piece of the rogues outfit. We're going to select, yes, a piece of rogue equipment, and we're going to start with the mask. One down. Four more to go. Attempt four is nothing. And here's attempt number five. Sweet. Another crate. Can we get the back to back? Oh, sweet. Yeah, we can. Let's go. All right. Three out of five. Done. And all of a sudden, we're on attempt 20. Uh, I was told that if you panic and then you check it, you get your fourth drop, right? No. No, you don't. Attempt 23. Yes. Oh my god. I thought it was a myth that you could get a fourth drop. But here we are. Fourth drop. Let's get the boots. Now all we need is the gloves. Number 27. Yes. We're done. Oh my god. Yes. We finally got the last piece. So we can get the gloves. We, we're, we're done. We, we did it. Here we are, full rogue. This is what we grinded for. The set bonus is a full set gives 100% chance for double loot from standard pickpocketing. So that works for master farmers, knights, vires, and also elves. So it was a long grind, but 100% worth it. Let's go do some master farmers. Looking back at my save files, I didn't save pickpocketing master farmers, which kind of sucks, but... Here we are back in our POH so that we can build clockworks. We need to build a workshop, I believe. Yep, a workshop. So let's build the workshop. Now we need to build the clock making space. So let's do that. Four oak planks. Let's do 
let's upgrade it again so that we can have the crafting two. I think you have to do clockwork mechanism. Ooh, you get to sit down, cool. And there it is, clockwork mechanism. Do we have to do it every time? I've never built this before. All right, yeah, so he's gotta keep doing it manually. So we're gonna build out a couple of these, grab our seeds, and then head over to Fossil Island. Here we are with our birdhouses and our seeds. Fun fact is if you use a dig site pendant on this strange machine, you're able to teleport directly to Fossil Island from your dig site pendant. So you can rub it, you go straight to Fossil Island here, and it teleports you right to this house. All right, guys, it's been 50 minutes. We are ready to do our first birdhouse run and got a hunter level, nice. Oh my God, I didn't grab any logs. I'll be back. All right, we're back with logs. Let's build that back up, do that. And this is why birdhouses are so nice early on. That's another hunter level and another hunter level. And there's the fourth one and another level. So now we can do oak birdhouses, which is really nice. But you see guys, this is why we decided to get to Fossil Island as quickly as we could. Four birdhouses, four levels. It's it's crazy doing birdhouses. It's gonna help us in the long run too with like uh, tree seeds and bird's nest, things like that. So really good, really glad we did it. 50 minutes later, another run, level 15. Ooh, plus we got a bird's nest with an egg in it, nice. I know it's like every other clip that it's a level, but eventually they're gonna start slowing down. Until then, here's 17 Hunter, 18 Hunter, 19 Hunter, 20 Hunter. Just like Hunter levels, these farming levels are gonna come in quick too. There's 20 farming. Now that we got some early levels and a bunch of skills, we can start doing some clues fairly easily now. So beginner casket, let's see what we get. Nine cabbage, never lucky. Back to some questing with doing some tree runs and birdhouse runs in between them. Murder mystery, Merlin's crystal. And there's Holy Grail, which gives us level 30 prayer. Woo, 21 hunter, 22 hunter, and 23 hunter. Black Knight's fortress. And there's Witch's house, which brings us up to level 30 hit points. I think this is actually my first time doing this one, but below Ice Mountain. Stocking back up on some seeds from Master Farmers, and we are at level 51 thieving. After we check the health of this oak tree, we are at 21 farming. Same tree run and another level. And another level. And there's the Lost Tribe complete. This is a massive quest to complete because now that we have completed it, we can have access to the Dorgishin crossbow. I had to go run to the bank to pick up some cash, but here we are with the Dorgish and Crossbow finally bought. We unfortunately don't have the levels for it yet, but uh, we'll get it eventually. Just figured I'd buy the bow now. We have a beginner and an easy clue casket here. Beginner is nothing, and the easy. Not really anything good, but we did get the unique red fire lighter. That's cool, I guess. And here's 26 Hunter. Oh, and a beginner clue. Let's see if we can do this one. We were able to do it, so there's our casket. We get nothing good. Hey, there's our first Hispori seed of the account. So we don't actually have the requirements to do it yet, but we'll build these up as we do our tree runs and kill it when we can. I haven't been showing all the farming levels, but this is a big one. Level 30 farming. Now we can do willow trees. 30 farming in the last clip. This one is 30 Hunter. Decided to change it up a little bit and go for the Rune Scimitar. It's a one in 50 from these Samurakian warriors. Hopefully we're not here for too long, but I'm already about 60 to 65 KC in. So I'll let you guys know when, when I get it. Oh my God, yes. I've been here for like three and a half hours, 134 kills, we, we got it. This will probably be our best weapon until we unlock the Dragon Scimitar from Monkey Madness 1. And there's the Enter the Abyss mini quest. That gets us up to level 9, 9 Rune Crafting, and the prerequisite for Temple of the Eye quest. For our last quest of the video, there is Temple of the Eye. 
5,000 rune crafting. So what is that? 27 rune crafting? Nice. All right, guys, that's going to do it for episode three of OS Iron Ginger. As you can see, we got some pretty good upgrades for the account. In terms of questing, up to 42 quests done. So almost a third of the way there. 85 quest points for our skill tree here. 966 total level. So we're really going through these levels quick. A lot of that's due to the questing that we've been doing, but also some of the AFK woodcutting, farm runs, tree runs, and the thieving that we've been doing to support the tree and farm runs. If you guys enjoyed this one, please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. But until next time, peace.